Yeah, we're probably live. Facebook. I know it's saying it's counting down, but the last time All it was right. like live. So we are live. Good afternoon, everybody. Let me get this on my phone. There it is. All right. Well, welcome to Kingdom Empowerment Ministries Bible Study. Amen. <coughs> this is a good day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for his grace and his mercy on today. Amen. Just waiting on us. Okay. The alarm is there. Good, good evening. Hi. Good afternoon. <laughs> Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Just want to make sure everything is okay. The lighting is okay. Uh, pretty much. Just give us a thumbs up. Just, we just want to make sure everything right because, you know, it's all it's all about Jesus and it's all for his glory. Amen. Um, Thumb up. The great thing about being live is um <laughs> you're gonna see some um it's some bloopers. Vibrate. You're gonna see some bloopers. It's on vibrate. And here's the first blooper. <laughs> <laughs> I just my phone on vibrate. I just wanna make sure. <laughs> amen. Amen. Bless the Lord and you know we we just we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. Yes. We we give God all the praise and all the honor and all the glory. You know, you hear me sing this all the time, but you know what? You just can't uh get enough from giving God praise and honor and glory because of everything that He has done, all that He has done. So we just bless the Lord, just wanna give a few people time enough to log on. Um mm -hmm. You know, might be some uh, just getting ready to log on, but we just bless the Lord and thank God we've been having some beautiful days lately, honey. Yep. Some nice sunny day. The weather has been great. Um, even though um, <laughs> some people may think that um, I'm just afraid to go out of the house, but I'm I'm I just enjoy being in the house. That's mm. how much I enjoy being in the house. I mean, um, even in spite of the um, the virus, most likely that's where you'll find me. In the house, I don't. <laughs> it doesn't bother me, um, but I'm I'm grateful that um, that you know we're seeing a lot of families that are able to really enjoy this one time. another. Yeah, Amen. Enjoy this time and being able to spend spend more time with each other as a family. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. In in spite of you know instead of the hustle and bustle that we constantly um, go through. Uh, from day to day, you know, with our work schedules and stuff, but um, you, you're seeing a little bit more of um, togetherness Amen. in families, in the homes, I should say. So we hope everyone is enjoying this day, um, and you know, take, it's good to um, take some time to go out and get some air, Amen. Um, get a change of scenery if you can. You know, get out mm -hmm. and just, you know, maybe sit on your porch, go out to the store if you can, you know, with your mask. If you have your mask, you know, I make sure that I have my mask and my hand sanitizer as when we get ready to go out. So. Amen. Good afternoon, Miss Deborah. Yes, thank you for joining us again today. Thank you. Blessing to you. You want to go ahead and get started? Just thank you for joining us on today um, and we do not take this lightly we just bless the lord for everyone that's coming on and um hey Kaylin. <laughs> we thank god for blessing us to be a blessing and you all are blessing us also by just being a part of uh, what god has called us into um and everybody's saying oh we, you know we're ready to go back to normal and this and that but, you know hey normal ain't your normal this is where we got to continue to just trust God through it all. So we, we bless the Lord for it. Amen. 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 Barbara Jean says hello to everyone. Hey there, cousin. Good, good. To, good to see you joining us. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. Good af good evening. Well, I was like, good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> Look, some people tease me because I'm always late with the morning messages. I'm I'm the last one to re respond to a lot of the text messages that go out in the morning. So, but, um. It's easy for me to say good morning. 
Well, we, we thank God for it. We're going to go ahead and, uh, like I said, get started. And, you know, we give God praise and all the glory and everything that he has done and that he will do and that he's going to do. And we just, we, we thank God for it. And we, we don't take this lightly with all that's going on. I know a lot of time people saying they want to rush and get back to doing what they're doing. But, you know, um, in times like this, we just got to take our time. Take our time, take it slow, and, you know, uh, when it all said and done, when it's safe, you know, even um, going back out doing different things and, you know, they slowly, surely want to open up a lot of stuff. But knowing this, that we are praying for you all and <clears throat> praying for everyone, praying for family members and friends, and, you know, you just got to be safe out there. Imagine how, you know, it's like when you're going out, during the Christmas holiday, they always say, be careful out there because, you know, you, you, you want to lock your doors and different things. But, you know, this is beyond Christmas holiday where, you know, you got this virus that's out there. And um, it's not to be afraid of, but, you know, the greatest fear that we should have is fear God and keep his commandment. That's the greatest fear we should have. Fear God and keep his commandment. That's the greatest one we should have. Um, you know, um, we shouldn't fear man, but we should fear God. Amen. So we just we thank God for that. And we give God all the praise and um, all the honor, because without his son, Jesus, we are nothing. Amen. Amen. Without Jesus, because, you know, I, we need him every day. I, I need him every day. I, I can't <laughs> I can't do without him. You know, and he has already given us um, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we, we just bless the Lord for that. And we give God all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. Amen. God bless you. My brother Gary, God bless you. Um, Sister Bernadette, God bless you. Thank God for y'all joining us on today. Um, I promise not to be before you long if she don't keep interrupting me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's just a joke. We're, we're, we're a team, and we, we do this together, even going full force back Um this ministry is all about home first. And even whether you're in the building or whatever, we just thank God that he allow us to do this together because it's not that um, I'm helping um, her or she's helping me, but we helping one another. And we thank God for that. And we pray to God that we're helping others also, um, not only just with the word of God, but also, you know, even some marriages out there. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, for the record, how many witnesses do I have out there that <laughs> I I don't say a word, and he will look at me and say, "What is it?" <laughs> well, she don't have to, you know. Is is the spirit knows the spirit? We're connected in the spirit, amen. <laughs> so we we thank God for that, amen. To God be the glory. We're gonna go ahead and get started, and as um tonight we want to continue our study, and like I said, this will be part three. Um, of the mind of Christ. Uh, we did part one and part two. Um, there's a video out there on, on our page and YouTube also with part one and part two with the mind of Christ. And the subtitle would be on tonight is Aim High. Aim High. And um, turn with me if you have your Bible to the book according to Colossians. Right after Colossians right after Philippians. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians chapter 3. And look at verse 1, 2, and 3. And because, like I said, tonight we want to continue our study on the mind of Christ. Uh, we, we just don't want our mind to be on Christ, Jesus, when... Only is um, we we in turmoil or we got something going on or or, or you know, we, we, our mind must stay on Jesus all the time, all the time. Not just when things are going good or, or in other word, um, I'm sorry, when things are bad or or when we're in a dilemma or like right now, you know, we we find more people they want to pray and um, they want to read their word and all this is good, all this is good. But even when this pass over, this is where God still wants us to continue to pray, to fast, and to read his word. Amen? Amen. 
So we're going to continue to bless the Lord on tonight as, you know, God has given us his word and we want to continue to give God his word back to be a blessing to the body of Christ. Even as you share this video and let us know um, what the Lord has done and what he's doing in your life. So we just thank God for that. Amen. Colossians, the book of Colossians chapter three, verses one, two, and three. And we're talking about the mind of Christ Jesus, the mind of Christ. Amen. Colossians chapter three, verse one, it said, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Amen. Cause we're talking about aiming high. You know, Air Force, be all you can be, aim high. Amen. And and, and the thing about it is that even when we're on a job or we wanna, you know, we, we, we want our salary to be increased, we want we want to keep going up the ladder for the Lord. Amen. Because we got to remember our job is not a job. Our job is how can I say it? Our job is the um resource, and God is the source. Our job is the resource. So God is the source. So here it is. We should look at our job as not a job. We should look at our job as an assignment that God has each and every one of us to go on on a daily basis. An assignment. I don't look at it as, an, as a job because when it all said and done, sometimes, you know, the money is not meeting the needs anyway. So this is where we got to look at it as an assignment from God. So Colossians said, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. With all this going on right now, with the turmoil, with, with, with the virus and all this, even before the virus hit, we had robbing, killing, racism and um, all jealousy, envy, all this stuff was going on. But the Bible tells us in Colossians chapter two, it said set, set mean to like this bottle of water, which I've drank the ginger ale out. So what I will do is like, I just got to set it there and leave it there. Set it mean to put it there, mean that hell is it's to just leave it there. Set your affection on the things above, not on the things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. We bless the Lord. Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy on tonight. We pray, dear God, each and every one that's listening, dear God, that this will be a blessing to them. And not only just to them, dear God, to their families, their friends, their co-workers, Father, even the non-believers, we believe that they will believe. The believers coming in to believe your word. And Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit will teach, the Holy Spirit will reach, the Holy Spirit will heal and deliver. We speak salvation and deliver. And Father, we pray, dear God, that as not only this video, but Father, we thank you, dear God, for you have given us technology to reach the world. And Father, we thank you, dear God. We do not take this light that we sit before you, the, your people of God, to share the word of God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit, who is the greatest teacher of them all. We thank you most of all, God, for your son, Jesus. And Father, we thank you. We speak healing and deliverance, dear God. I pray, dear God, that the word will heal, set free, and deliver. And someone might receive something that is being said either between what I'm saying or my wife is saying. Father, we pray, dear God, however, whatever the word of God is like a two-edged sword, cutting to the dividing under. And Father, we thank you for your grace and your mercy on tonight. It is, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We bless the Lord. Amen. We give God all the praise and all the glory. So even as we look, as I said tonight, we just want to, just for a few moments, um, continue our study, which is part three. Um, with all this going on um, in the world, and long as we in the world, Psalm 24 and 1 said, the earth is the Lord and the world and they that dwell in it. Long as we are in this world, long as we are living in this world, among you know the thing about it, we're going to have problems, we're going to have situations, we're going to have things that arise. But when it all said and done, who are we going to trust? 
Who are we going to trust? Are we going to are we going to trust man or are we going to trust God? So this is where we're talking about the mindset, not the mind, just the mind. But here it is. You have to have your mindset, which is your spiritual mindset on the affection. Watch this. The things that are above. Amen. The things that are above. It said it said, seek those things. Matthew 6 and 33 tells us so clearly in Matthew 6 and 33, it tells us to seek ye first. Mm -hmm. Seek what first? Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these rights, all and, and his righteousness, and all these other things will be added unto us. So here it is. We're talking about here it is the mind of Christ. God wants us to aim high and believe his word, whatever he said, whatever he has. Um, showed you in a dream, in a vision, you can count on it, you can bank on it, you can, I'm, I'm telling you, you can believe God at his word. This too will and shall pass. What you're going through now is just, it didn't come to take you out, it comes to strengthen you, it comes to make you stronger, so that here it is, when situation arise, we will know how to handle it. Amen? Amen? Yeah, amen. <laughs> All is well. All right. So here it is, even as we look at, you know, aiming high, this is where we got to think like Christ, think like Jesus, think like Jesus. We got to not only think like Jesus, but we also have to love like Jesus. What do you mean, Pastor, love? Well, the Bible said, you know, if you had to look at the 66 books, which is the Holy Bible from Genesis to revelation and you would have to sum it up we know that the shortest scripture in the bible is jesus wept we know that jesus wept okay but if you had to sum up the whole bible from genesis to revelation john 3 16 sums it up for god so loved so what do you mean love like jesus for god so loved the world that he so that he S O W E D, like you sow a seed, that you sow words, that you sow different things. John 3:16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever, whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What am I saying is that here it is. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. It bankrupt heaven for you and I. It bankrupt heaven, oh my Lord. It bankrupt heaven. God sent, God said, this all I got. This all I, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I, this, I'm gonna give you everything. This all I got. In the form, God himself, Jesus came to earth and show us mankind how to live and have the mindset of Jesus Christ. Aim high. We got to think like Jesus, love like Jesus, when it all said and done, be Christ-like. Be Christ-like. Think like God think. Think like God think. Not the way I want to think, not the way we do things, amen? We got to think like God think, amen? God is love. God is love. God don't hate. When you see that hate and, and, and that envy and jealous and all that stuff, that ain't God. God is love. Regardless. So here is when we talk about aim high, shoot for the stars. Sky is the limit in the kingdom of God. The sky is the limit in the kingdom of God. Shoot for the stars. You, you might say, man, that, you know, before this pandemic or before this happened, you know, I had big dreams. I, I wanted to travel. You know, I had a business I was getting ready to um, open up. I, I had I had vision on this and I had all this going, but all of a sudden, boom, this happened. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I just heard the Holy Spirit said, delay does not mean denial. It's just not now. It's just put on hold. You know, it's just delayed right now for, watch this. When you think about it, he just got it set on the side. 
You, you continue to, to pray on it. You continue to believe God's word. If God said it, that settles it. Amen. I'm telling you, you, we are the body of Christ. We are in one of the greatest you think is a setback, but we in one of the greatest. Oh my God, come back. I'm telling you, I just heard like history. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm, my God. Yes, ma'am. No, oh, I'm just absorbed. Okay. I'm not right. saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So so we, we bless the Lord all as well. So we, we thank God for the, for his grace. We thank God for his mercy because God wants us to have the mindset of Christ, the mind of Christ, the mind of Jesus. He wants us to set our affection on the things above. Because when it all said and done, all this was going on in the earth and all this, you know, what, you know, we, we see this, we, we see um, robbing, killing, tornadoes and, uh, and just all, all sorts of things beyond the virus. But I guarantee you, the minute you set your affection, even when you're going through some issues in life, pain and pressure and, and heartaches and headache, and when you call on the name of Jesus, things got to change. The situation got to change. I'm telling you when, you, when you, when you thank Jesus, that's why he said, set your affection on the things which are above where Christ is. Sit, he sits on the right hand. You know what he's doing while he's sitting on the right hand of the Father? He's mm -hmm. making intercession mm -hmm. for you and I. He's he's as we praying to you know a lot of times we, we say, Lord, you know I don't know why I feel the way that I feel, but but God, I'm gonna just start praying. God, Jesus, I'm making intercession on on behalf of the saints. Amen. He sits on the right hand of the Father, making intercession. And then it said, set your effects in me. Once you set it there, once you bring it to him, once you've already give it to him, just leave it there. Don't worry about it. It said, set your affection on the things above and not on the things that are on the earth. Because the Bible said heaven and earth will pass away before his word. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well, when you were talking about um, mm -hmm. the mind of Christ, when you say the mind of Christ, you know, we cannot have the mind of Christ unless we're in his word. Come on. Because if you don't know him, you have to know him in order to have the mind of him for your mind to be transformed. Your mind has to be transformed and you have to be renewed by the word of God. So there is no mind of his mm -hmm. unless we get in the word and unless we begin to have a relation grow in our relationship with him amen we become more and more like him when we're spending more time with him mm -hmm. and you know getting in prayer getting in his word wow just spending time with him i was just getting ready to ask you and you just answered it you pulled it out my spirit before i even asked i said i was getting ready to ask you dear for someone out there might be saying um or even someone might watch this video as as others share this video even now or later. Someone might say, "Well, you know, how 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 do I keep my mind on Christ? How? And what would be the first thing you would you would share to them, or share with them? How do I keep my mind on them? First of all, you got to have the word. You got to you have to read the word. You have to take time and read and constantly." Just listening, listening and being in relationship with him. And um, it's, it's the word. And and thank God for the Holy Spirit because, and say, you, I mean, just to be practical about it, we're not going to always have our, the literally have the Bible with us. Come on now. To pull out the Bible and look up a scripture. Amen. And this is why it's so important <clears throat> to um, meditate on his word. Mm -hmm. Get to know the word so that when when we need it, the Holy Spirit reminds us of his word. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, and if we don't have, literally have the Bible with us, we've got our cell phones. There, there's so many tools available for us. We've got the Bible app on our phones. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there's, it's almost like there's no excuse. No excuse. Unless you don't want, you don't, you're not taking the time mm -hmm. to know him. So. Wow, that's good. And um, 
You know, when you were talking, I, I just heard the Holy Spirit saying how David said, you know, um, thy word have I hid in thy heart that I might not sin against thee, O Lord. So in other words, here it is, like you said, we might not have that Bible physically because in times like this, as we shift back months down the road, whether it's one month, two months, three months, or even six months down the road, there are many people out there waiting to hear the word of God for many, from many of us. And that's why we, we, while we're in this house, while we're shut in or however we want to call it, while we're in the house, that's why we got to continue to pray and keep our mind on Christ Jesus. And, and because soon when, when it all said and done, somewhere, somehow, someone might not only just ask you a, about Christ, but then the thing about it is that here it is, people don't have to come to the building to be saved. I'm going to say it again. They don't have to come to the building to be saved, to receive Jesus Christ. They can receive him wherever they are, no matter. And, you know, and I've got, you know, and back to the question that you asked me, um, just quickly, two examples that I have. One of my, for myself personally, mm -hmm. when I was in, I know people may have heard this before, but when I was so disappointed with something at one mm -hmm. point, and this was like maybe in the beginning of my walk with Christ, and I was so disappointed and man, and in, 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 in decisions and things that were made, and so disappointed that I'm in tears, mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do, but I, I something to the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> laughing because I remember that yeah, situation. The Holy Ghost tells me yes. to pick up my yep. Bible, and with tears in my eyes, I, you know, I didn't know where to go in wow. the Bible, but I picked up my Bible, trusting that God would mm. speak to me through his word. Wow. And, um, you know, I, I, I opened up the Bible and I said, well, Lord, I can't read because there's so much water in my eyes. Wow. How can I see if I need, if I want to read your word, if I want to have understanding, then show me where to go in your Bible, in mm. your word. And I fell upon, um, he led me <laughs> mm -hmm. to, uh, I think it was, it was something in Psalms. What did I tell you? The scripture was, um, uh, to be still. Just to be still and know that Psalm, I'm God. Yeah, Psalm, Psalm 46 and 10. Yeah, to be Amen. still and know that I'm God. And as soon as I read that, the water just cleared up. It, it, mm. it's, the tears stopped flowing. And my I had peace in my heart. And um, But but that was one example. But then another example is um, listening to um, Pastor A.R. Bernard's testimony with mm -hmm. him going through the um, COVID-19 um, virus. He contracted it, and while he's in the hospital, he has nothing else to to anchor his soul on because he's beginning to have hallucinations and stuff while he's in the hospital. And the only thing that he's got to anchor him is the word that is in his heart. That's it. He's beginning to um, dissect the word, he says, in his heart while he's laying there, um, where, where, where he says the... the, um, the the word that comes to him is that there's light and darkness. And that's what he began to dissect. And that's what anchored his soul. Wow. So it's nothing but this is why it's so important for us to <coughs> know the word know for the ourselves. Word. Amen. Because there will be, there are going to be times mm -hmm. where it may not be a, a life or death situation, but there are going to be experiences and, and times in our lives where there's no one else that we can call upon. Wow. And we're, there's nobody else to depend on mm. but God and his word. Amen. And the thing is, um, thank you. Um, you know, it's, it's a blessing to just um, share the word of God. Um, no one knows it all. But when it all said and done, uh, we, we, ought to, we ought to have something and uh, not just something. I mean, as far as the scripture to be able to share and not only share, but the thing about it is that, uh, you know, if you don't call no other name, no matter where you at, what, what you're going to, if you just say, Jesus, 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 I need you, Jesus, 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 I'm telling you. The Bible said, here it is, at the name of Jesus, every knee going to bow and every tongue going to confess that he is Lord. Yeah. So we can do it now. 
or we can do it later. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, here it is. This is he's given all of us that opportunity because here it is. Why we why we think here it is. There's darkness that hitting the world right now. But here it is. Isaiah 60 is talking about arise, shine, for thy light has come. And the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. In order for the glory to be upon you, the glory got to be in you, meaning that God's word is the glory. Mm -hmm. His word. Is God. His word. <laughs> it's his word that God's word is the glory. Amen. Amen. So this is where we, 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 we trust and believe that all of us, that we can be on one accord with the word of God, one accord sharing the word of God. And here it is. This is where we aim in high to be more and more like Christ. Ain't no way you gonna tell me that we've been, you know, we, we can call it lockdown, shut up or whatever. And, and all of a sudden we gonna go back to the same out like Lord. And I know, listen, and I know some might, some will, I hope some won't. But when it all said and done, this is, um the thing is, you know, we, it's, 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 it's praying time, not playing time. Amen. But you know, when you said that some people may go back to, may go back to their old ways, but the, even if they do, even if some do, this is the perfect time where we those that, that equip. are better, yep. are better in their walk with Christ and that have grown <coughs> throughout this. Amen. This is where they're going to come along mm -hmm. and help those. Yes that are digressing, that mm -hmm. are going backwards. Going, going backwards. So, I mean, either way, mm. it's, it's, God's going to get the glory. Yes. Either way. Yes. If if those that have grown and matured, mm. if they step up to the plate. Wow. I love that. And and I love what you say because if mean if, and we know if mean everybody ain't going to do it. But when it all is said and done, you know, we said, God, use me. So even through this time, God has set aside and preparing men and women of, of God for such a time as this to show forth and show them his glory. Amen. Amen. So we, 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 we bless the Lord for that. And we, you know, we, we give God all the praise and all the glory belongs to God. Turn with me to um, as we move on. Um, let's turn over to Second Peter chapter one. And this is where we should abide, meaning, and stay focused on Jesus. Second Peter, let's turn over to Second Peter chapter 1 and look at verse 1. Second Peter chapter 1. You care to read it in the King James? I sure we would. Thank you. <laughs> In the King James Version, it reads, mm -hmm. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. You want two also? Yeah, two okay. and three. Okay. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain to what? No, all things. Go ahead. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> See, <laughs> this is live. Okay. <laughs> so verse three again. According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. To glory and virtues. When she read verse 3, it says, according as his divine power, his divine power has given unto us, all of us, things that what pertain to, unto life and godliness. And, where, and, and how do we get that? Through the knowledge of who? Of him. That him they talking about? They ain't talking about an H-Y-M book. They're not talking about a hymn book. They're not talking about a hymn book that we sing the hymn out. They're talking about an H-I-M. That book they're talking about 
Here it is, is Jesus Christ. It said, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to the glory and virtue. We were just talking about showing forth others the glory of God. See, we, we want people to see God's glory, but here it is. There's some things, some stories, some stuff we got to go through to get to. And many times, many people want to get to it, but they don't want to go through it. Many times, people want to get to it, but they don't want to go through it. And we all go through. We uh, Listen, even when you think about a car wash, even like the in and out car wash, the car go through dirty, but still yet it comes out clean. It only gets stuck in stopping that car wash if they break a trip or something happened while the car is in it. So regardless, sooner or later it's still coming out. So even as we're in what we're where we at right now, sooner or later, we're gonna get back out there. However, we look at it full force with our masks on, however, but when it all said and done, we got to be well equipped with the mind of Christ to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to the saints. I'm telling you, this is harvest time as we're in a season of harvest where the people are hungry. Oh, glory. How, um, yes, Lord. They are hungry for the word of God. They are hungry. And, and this is where, as we, as we said earlier, where it talks about Colossians, it said, set your affection. But I love where Jesus, where it was talking to Simon Peter, he called him a servant. But verse two, where it said, grace and peace be multiplied. God grace you to help someone else. You ever wonder, well, Lord, I ain't know if I can do it. No, God said, good. I glad you said, I don't know if you can do it. I, I and sometimes, you know, you're like, okay, I'm tired. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't know. God said, good. All right, about time. Now move. Get out the way. Let, let, let the Holy Spirit kick in. Let, let my grace and peace be multiplied unto you to do what I've called you to do. Amen? Because sometimes when we're doing it our way, we only get the same result. But if we allow the Holy Spirit and do it God's way, we're going to see positive result. Amen? Bless the Lord. So here it is. Even as we continue, as we're talking about the, the, the mind of Christ. Amen. We all right out there? Amen. Amen. Give me some thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Some love. We love you too. Give us some love. Give us some love. Amen. Let us know you're still with us. Amen. Amen. Some love. Some thumbs up. Some love. Some thumbs up. Amen. To God be the glory, because I'm telling you, the Bible said, First John 4 and 4, great is he that is in me, that he that is in the world. We're going to be fully equipped. And I'm not saying that we weren't fully equipped. That's not what I'm saying. But we're going to be more equipped than we were before. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching to me. I'm talking about me. I'm not talking about nobody else. I'm talking about me, 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 that I can share the gospel the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our mind has to stay on Christ. We have the mind of Christ, and this is where we got the aim high, not go low. God said, this is where we low now. We, we, as we were calling, we're chilling out. We're chilling, right? <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. So we're chilling, right? So we're chilling. God said, you know what? Now I, I, I got everybody in, 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 in how we say it. Shut up, shut down mode, shut in mode. However, he got us in shut in mode, but glory, we're coming out. We're coming out glorious. We're coming out powerful. We're coming out awesome. We're coming out better than we were before. We're not coming out bitter, but we're coming out better. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. So this is where even in this season, as there's some things that God has set on hold because you've decided that you set your affection on the things above only and not on the earth. Because how many of you know, Lord have mercy, help us, Jesus. When it all said and done, think, think about this. Thank you. 
Let's pause just for a minute. Just for a moment. Think about this. If we sit and listen to the 5 o'clock news, listen to the 6 o'clock news, the 7 o'clock news, the 10 o'clock news, the 11 o'clock news, mm -hmm. when it all said and done, what you think you're going to be bombarded down with with just the news? But Lord have mercy. Think about, yes, Lord, I hear you. But God said it's the news, but it's not the good news. And then all of a sudden, here it is, because hey, by no mean, yeah, he wants us to know what's going on in the news. But you said it before. How you continually, if you continually watching the news, watching the news, it just bombard and what burden you down, right? Yeah, because that's not all I want to think. I don't want that to constantly be on my mind. Um, because it could, it could, it could be so depressing. Um, and it, it begins to weigh on you and that's not what I want to my life. That's, and I know that that's not what God wants for me. Mm. So, um, yeah, I, I want, and look, when you keep feeding your, your spirit, that's mm -hmm. what's going to dominate. That's what's going to dominate. So if, if, the, if I'm constantly <clears throat> listening to the news and, um, things that are so depressing, that could be depressing on there when you're constantly hearing about the deaths and how many people have been contracted with the um, virus. It could be so depressing and, and and make you that listening to that all they will make you fearful. Yes, yes. So and that's not what God wants me. That's Oof. not what I want for my life. And you mm. don't feel good. You you begin to feel depressed exactly. all day. Exactly. And then it begins to affect your household. It'll weigh you down. It can affect your household, and that's not what I want for us. Wow. And and not only not only just that, but you know, especially when you have a heart and a love and a mind like Christ, think like Christ, love like Christ, and you showing that compassion and all of a sudden that thing just hits you. And it can, it can, it, like you say, it can wear you down. But what I'm reminded of is the word, glory, hallelujah, that can lift my mm -hmm. spirit up. It's the word that can elevate, it's the word that can just lift your spirit out of the whatever you've been in. Amen. It's the word of God. Yeah. It's God's word. Amen. It's the word that can shift. It's the word that can lift. It's the word that elevates you. And all of a sudden you're like, wow, who brought me out? It ain't who is what is the word of God. And it's God's word that bring me out. Amen. It's not that I can read this book and that book and I want my mind to be on this and I want my mind, you know, vacation coming up next year, vacation coming up or what are we going to do at the end of the year? What are we going to do? And, you know, and all that's good. But just think about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Because I'm telling you, we get peace more and more when we begin to think about God and think about his word. And, you know, you mean to tell me the Lord is sitting on his throne, we saying, God, what you going to do? God, we got this going on. God, we got that going on. And God is sitting there and saying, but well, why are y'all calling me? I've already done what I said I was going to do. Because the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, it said, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God began to move upon the wall, and God said, let there be light. Whoop, there it was. So God said instantly, let there be light. So here it is, even in the darkness and the things that we're going through, he has called us to keep our mind on Christ to be the light of the world, and a light that sits on a hill, the Bible said, cannot be hid. So it don't matter whether it's nighttime. It don't matter whether it's daytime. It don't matter whether it's noontime. It don't matter whether it's raining or the sun is shining. Your light, glory, hallelujah, is going to continue to keep on shining. Amen? Amen. Amen. So to God be the glory. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. We give God all the praise. Look like we have some 
technical difficulty yeah. right here with Something the computer. Just, <laughs> just give us thumbs up if you can still see us. Um, can you still see us? Just give us thum thumbs up. We'll keep on going. Give us yeah. thumbs up. Thumbs up. If you can still see us. Amen. Because our video just went on. It just went blank. That's that power. Amen. <laughs> That's that power. Amen. Oh. Thumbs thumbs up. Can y'all still see us? I, Jordan, yeah, can yeah. you still see us? Definitely. Amen. Because I can see it in here. Amen. So, so to God be the glory. You got all that power coming out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Turn with me to um I want to talk uh um last but not least, turn with me to uh Philippians chapter four. Philippians chapter four <clears throat> verses look at verse four. And this is where when we have the mind like Christ Jesus, it can be mine. Oh, glory. How, did you caught that? Did you catch that? Glory. Hallelujah. You got to catch this. Some things are taught and some things are caught. When we have the mind, M-I-N-D, like Christ Jesus, it can be M-I-N-E. It belongs to you. Glory. Hallelujah. My God, give God some praise. Oh, my God, we thank God. So Philippians chapter 4, look at Philippians chapter 4, um, verse 4. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4, it said, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Can we re rejoice and keep our mind on Christ even with all what's going on and and things was happening around us and things, you know, situation and all this. But I love what Philippians said. It said, rejoice <clears throat> in the Lord always. It didn't say rejoice in the world. It didn't say rejoice on your job. It said rejoice in the Lord always. And then it comes back and say, again, I say, rejoice, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Rejoice. <laughs> he comes back and say, rejoice. And then he said, let your moderation be known unto all men. Let them know that you love Jesus. Let them know that you are Christ-like and Christ-centered mind. And let them know that you think like God think. Amen. God loves everybody. Even you got to know how to love the unlovable. Then it says, let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. He's at hand. And then it said, verse 6, it said, be careful for nothing. Right. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, he said, be careful for nothing. Don't worry about that. Be careful for nothing. But he comes back and say, but in everything, <clears throat> The big, the small, being shut in, staying at home, can't go out like the way we used to the restaurant and different things. It don't matter. But he said, in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And then it said, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds. There go that mind again. There go that mind. Oh, glory, hallelujah. There go that mind again. It said, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep. Because God, I don't know, but God, who can understand you and I better than I, but God. Our creator. But us. We can't even understand each other. Amen? We can't... <laughs> <laughs> she she laughed. <clears throat> Lord help us. Thank you, Lord. So here it is. It said, and the peace of God. So here it is. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, I love this part. Oh my God. 
Verse 8, look at verse 8. Look at verse 8. As I said earlier, when we can have the mind, M-I-N-D, like Christ, then it can be mine, M-I-N-E, what God has already promised you. Amen? Because we got to stay focused on Jesus. Verse 8 said, finally, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever, he's saying whatsoever, whatever, whatever it is, whatever it is, that's taking your mind away, but it got, you got to bring, you got to stay and come back and get fo back focused on Jesus. He said, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the mind of Christ. He wants us to aim high. You know, I, I'm reminded of the psalmist saying, I'm going to look to the hill which cometh my help. My help come from where? From the Lord. My help come from the Lord. Then he said, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me. This is Apostle Paul. And he said, do and the God of peace shall be with you. Verse 10. He said, but I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished. Oh, glory. I just heard the Lord. Somebody, oh, yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you. Mm. I heard that there are going to be some of us in this season as we come out of staying at home, we're going to flourish. I just heard the floodgates is going to open for some of you all. The floodgates is going to open like never before. He said, flourish again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lack opportunity. I'm going to stop right there. But the opportunity is going to be there like never before. I just, heard, I just keep hearing you're going to flourish in season where it looked like ain't nothing going on, in season when it looked like ain't nothing happening, but they're going to look at you like, well, why are you still ha so, so happy? Why are you smiling? And, and all of a sudden is that, Herod, it looked like you, you glory, hallelujah, you look like you're not going to miss a beat. My God, because God got this. So here it is, last but not least, this is where we got to continue to set our mind on the things above when we set it down there we got to leave it there don't worry about it because the bible tells us worry is a sin if you're going to worry about it then why pray about it if you're going to pray don't worry if, if if we say god you got this god got it and this is where we're going to continue to have the mind of Christ knowing that we're going to aim high. Not that we, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Not that we are high-minded thinking of ourselves better than anybody else, but God wants the best for his people. Amen? So what I'm saying, aiming high, is that here it is. Not that we think that we are high-minded because the Bible said, he who humble himself will be a base. But this is where if you humble yourself, you will be exalted. But if you don't, you will be a base, meaning that you're coming down. So what I'm saying, last but not least, this is where God wants us to set our affection there on the things above and not beneath. Set it there. When you set it there, S-E-T, as I said earlier, leave it there. Don't even worry about it. God got this. Your healing, your miracle, your blessing. Oh, glory. I'm telling you, you're going to go forth. I, yes, Lord. I heard. The floodgates is going to open for the 
believers like never before. My God. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> he said, mm. <laughs> No, I was just thinking. Woo, you know, when you, my, you, oh, glory, 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 glory. My God. Mm. When the Bible uses mm. the word set, I mm. think in um, Jesus. in one of the other translations, my Lord, maybe um, the message version or either the New Living Translation, it speaks of, you know, when you set something in front of you, let focus on that. In front focus, of you. Focus Focus on that, not mm. the things. Well, when he's saying focus on the things above, not the things. Um, what did it say? Not the things. Did it use the word beneath? What well, line saying? Uh, it says, "I got, I got you, I got you right here." It said, "Set your affection on the things above, and not on the things not, on the earth." On earth. So, Amen. not focusing on the things that, in the translation that I read earlier. We're not focusing on the things that in front of us, around mm -hmm. us, the, because these things are temporary. Exactly. And the things above, they're permanent. They're everlasting. Everlasting. Everything that's with Jesus is everlasting. So we Eternal. Would, why wouldn't we, I mean, when you just think about that, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you want something that's eternal Wow. than something that's temporary? Wow. So mm. don't focus on look the coronavirus, mm. the COVID nineteen. Jesus, is this too glory. Oh it's my temporary. God, I felt that. <laughs> so everything you know, everything Woo. that's on this earth is temporary. Yes, yes. So we got to remember to focus on Him. Don't mm -hmm. you know? And, and and it's it's easy to sit here and say mm -hmm. don't focus on it when it's right there in front of your very yes. eyes. Yes, yes. But we have to choose. Choose and, and um, make it be intentional. Mm -hmm. About it. make up our minds and set our set our attention on and, and and say this is what I'm going to do. Amen. And every time we this this thing comes up, mm -hmm. even in front of it, say, look, my attention is set above. Wow. I'm I'm going to speak to that yes. thing that's right there in front Glory, of me. Glory, hallelujah. My 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 mm, my focus good. and my aim yes. is on the eternal. Wow. Place, not here. Woo! Shoot for the stars. I can't. I can't. Mm. I can't put my hope in the temporary. My Lord. I have to put my hope in the eternal, yes. which is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Wow. Mm, that's good. Glory, Hallelujah. My God. Mm. So God, God wants us to, um, even in this season, set our affection on the things above and not on the earth, because the thing about it is, these things are just temporary. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, I mean, the clothes we wear, I mean, the house, the car, and I mean, heritage, you got people that, you know, heritage, money can't even, um, you know, stop or, or however we want to say what's going on right now is that heritage, we seem like we, we all are at one place, but sooner or later, I just, I just keep hearing, oh my God, mm, yes, I just keep hearing flourish, floodgate. Flourish, floodgate, blessing, oh, glory, hallelujah, mm, my God. But you got to receive it. Don't, I don't care how it look right now. It's not about how it look. You got to continue to keep the mindset of Jesus Christ. It didn't look good for Jesus neither. But after three days, he got up. What? With all power. In his hand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. God bless you. We, we're going to just stop right there. Um, you want to just close us out in prayer? Um, you know, um, we thank God for each and every one that view. We pray that um, you've gotten something from this that it will help you throughout the week. And we just bless the Lord for his grace and his mercy. Um, and it could be one that's viewing, one that don't know Jesus. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you just got to receive him in your heart. It's just that simple. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Lord, I, I believe that you died for me and you rose on the third day. Say, so, Lord, I want to be saved. It's just that simple. Roman chapter 10, verse 9 and 10. If thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, you okay. shall be, it's just that simple. You don't have to do all this.
But just, just this, when, when I guarantee you, you can receive them where you at, in your house, in your car, in your basement. It don't matter where you at. You can receive them instantly right there. It's just like I'm taking this bottle right here and putting it in my hand. It's just that simple of you receiving Jesus. And you might say, okay, Lord, I, all this is going on. I don't see you. I don't sense it. But you know what? When it all said and done, God said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you what? Even until the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Just that simple. Amen. So if you receive Jesus, just that simple. This, you know, receive him into your heart. And the only thing you have to do is ask him to come in. Instantly, things begin to happen. He's right there. Amen. Amen. And just know that this is not, this is the beginning of your new walk. Yes. With Christ. And you know, it, it, it doesn't mean that every, all of your troubles have come to an end. Come it doesn't to an mean end. that you're not going to have any more issues or problems in your life. But knowing that now that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, he's with you through those problems. Yes. Through those challenges and trials and tribulations that you go through. And, um, and again, it's not that it, it means that it's an easy life, but you'll have peace. Peace. You'll have joy. That you'll passes. come out Amen. a better person. Yes. So, um, so we encourage you, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, if you want eternal life, mm. accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. So, um, and I think Pastor has already prayed. He asked me to pray, but he already <laughs> did it. So, but um, we just want you all, you know what? Yes. We just want to lift up those that are struggling and yes. going through um, the complications of the coronavirus. We want to lift up the families that are that are there with them and in, that 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 are separated from them as they're going through God in the name tough. of Jesus. We just tough. thank you for strengthening your people, yes. for encouraging their hearts, God, for comforting them through this thank you, Lord. through these hard times, God, in the name of Jesus. And we just want to lift up those, God, that are feeling like they're about to go stir crazy being mm. in the house, God. Mm. But let them understand that this is a time where they can come come to you and, and get even closer yes. and have a closer walk with you, a closer relationship with you, Jesus. We thank you, Father, for, for the children, God. We lift mm. them up to you that that that, that those that are bored and don't know what mm. to do with themselves. The parents God. also. But in the name of Jesus, we yes. just thank you, God, for for coming in the midst of that home, God, Thank you, Lord. And, and, and showing them that there is a better way, letting them see that it is a blessing, that mm. they're not stuck at home, but they're mm. safe at home, God, thank you, Lord. in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord. And Lord, we just, um, we, we, we pray for those that, that are not enjoying each other right now, God. <laughs> we know that there are spouses that are going through hard times that um, they may they may be having a hard time being with each other in the homes, up. God. But we Love. lift them up, God, and Jesus. Let, let Jesus be in the midst of their yes. homes, God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you for them right now, God. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we we hearing more of more and more of people that are taking their lives in mm. the midst of this, God. In the name of Jesus, let them know that this is not the end. God. Yes, yes, God. That it's there a is a way, way out thank when you. you are. When, when when we are submitting our lives unto you, God. Thank you, Jesus. So let them submit to you. Let them come to you. Let them cry out to you, Thank God. You, Holy Spirit. Let them seek you, God. Thank you, Holy in Spirit. the name of Jesus. And let them know that you are real, that you are there for them. Yes. That you want the best for them, God. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. And Lord. Those that are struggling financially mm, through this, you. God. Bless them. Bless them. We thank you, Lord, for, for the missionaries that are out there on the, supernatural. in the fields, God. Those that are out there, God, bless that are helping oh putting food on people's tables, God. Lord, let there, mm. let there be a way for them to receive thank what you, you have for them, God. Thank you, in Lord. the name of Jesus. Mm. So, Lord, we just bless you. We honor you. Yes. We lift you up. Lord, we, we pray for those that, that are listening right now, God. Right now. Mm. Lord, whatever the need is, God, yes, you will meet in it. the name of Jesus, we it's thank you done. that mm. that you will meet the needs of these yes. people right thank now, you, God. Thank Not you. only them, but their families, God, mm. those that they cannot reach right about now. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we just thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. For being a blessing in the lives of your people right now, God. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. Yes. For 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 comforting, mm. for for encouraging. 
in them in the name of Jesus. We just thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you for being our yes. Savior. Yes. Thank you for being our comforter. Thank you for being the Almighty. Almighty. The Almighty who has mm. all power in his hands, God. Yes. So thank you for allowing us to seek you. And not just during this time, God, but always, but always yes. and continuing, even when this, when, the, mm. when these orders are lifted, God. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for the church mm. standing out even more, mm. God, thank you, for Lord. arising even Arise. more, God, Arise. and being out there in the field, God. We thank you for thank the you, great, um, mm. the great revival that is coming up mm. out of this, God. We thank you for the souls that are saved. Thank During you, and after mm. this, God, My Lord. in the name of Jesus, mm. we thank you for, for, for your power. Mm. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Wow. Thank you, amen. thank you, thank you. I, I'm telling you. Yes, Lord. Arise and not only shine. But I hear the spirit of the Lord, and she was praying, said, there's so much going to come out of this. And not only come out, but there's some things that just set aside for the believers. The church is going to rise up, not just the building, but church will not be as normal as we once had in the building. I'm telling you, I just, I just keep hearing blessing, blessing. Overfull blessing going to hit your house like never before. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Mm. amen. My God. All right. God bless you. Is there anything else, Pastor? No, ma'am. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope that you all enjoy the rest of the week. And yes. as we always say, please be safe. Um, just because some orders are, are being lifted in, in some of your areas, please don't be reckless. Keep in mind that we're not only trying to keep ourselves safe, but we're trying to keep others safe. So if you have masks, please wear your mask, wear your gloves, keep your sanitizers, and remember to wash your hands. So um, we just thank God that um, we're we're getting through this. Amen. We're getting through. We're coming out. Amen. We're coming out because there's a turnaround because um, because God God has the best for us. Amen. No test, no testimony. Amen. Okay. God bless we'll you. We see love you. you on Sunday. Kim Church, we love you. Amen. Amen.